Welcome to our Five on Five. We're pleased to welcome Dwight Holton, the former U.S. Attorney for Oregon and the current Executive Director for the nonprofit Lines for Life. Dwight, good to see you. How are you today? Really great to be here. Thank you. Our pleasure. So tell us, what is Lines for Life? Lines for Life is a statewide nonprofit here in Oregon that does two really important pieces of work. It's substance abuse prevention and suicide prevention throughout the state. Okay, and, and you guys, yeah, you're... You're based in Portland, correct? But you guys are trying to expand throughout the state of Oregon. That's right. We uh, we run uh, our two major focuses of work are substance abuse prevention, and we run crisis lines uh, throughout the state of Oregon. We take thirty-five thousand crisis calls a year from people wow. from all over Oregon, and so uh, we are working very hard to expand our prevention work, both around suicide and around substance abuse throughout Oregon. That's part of the reason I'm here in the Rogue Valley. Absolutely. Okay. And, and of course, suicide is a very difficult thing to talk about, but uh, it, it needs to be addressed, it needs to be talked about, and that way we can we can prevent these things from happening. How are you guys able to be so successful in preventing suicide? It's really remarkable. People who come to Lines for Life as volunteers spend their days helping people on the phone find a way forward, people who are really in crisis. At Lines for Life, we're kind of special because we use a, a model that uses volunteers who are highly trained and supervised by very, spe very specialized clinical staff to do motivational interviewing for people who call, find out what the challenges are, and really help them find that way forward rather than a way that can end in tragedy. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and one thing you guys obviously focus on is, is military uh, veterans, military families. Uh, assistance is always available, correct? That's exactly right. We're open 24-7. We have four critical lines. We have the crisis lines. We have an addiction line that helps folk, people struggling with addiction try and find a way out of addiction. We have the youth line, which also does a texting service, which is really innovative, really one of the first in the nation. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have a military line, which helps uh, close to 9,000 veterans and their families every year. Okay, very good. Well, I know we obviously want to get into substance abuse as well with your background as U.S. Attorney. We have plenty to talk about there. We'll do that after this quick break. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Dwight Holton, former U.S. Attorney for Oregon and the Executive Director of Lines for Life. Dwight, you mentioned you were in town for a couple things. What's going on? Uh, I'm here first for the Southern Oregon Meth Project meeting, which is uh, just in a few minutes here at mm -hmm. KOBI. I'm also here for Dr. Jim Shame's Prescription Drug Abuse Summit. The folks in the Rogue Valley have been real leaders on trying to address the epidemic of prescription drug abuse. You know, we've had this tragedy where we lost a 777 full of people in the mm -hmm. Pacific Ocean in the last couple of weeks. We lose a jumbo jet full of Americans to prescription drug abuse every week. It's a terrible challenge. It's been a significant problem here in the Rogue Valley. The good news is you have great public health officials uh, like Dr. Shames and other people in the community trying to address it. Mm -hmm. Is the, uh, obviously with your background as a U.S. attorney as well, you your deal with this uh, a variety of drugs from the law enforcement perspective. Uh, meth, heroin, those continue to be problems statewide. They sure do. The prescription drug abuse and heroin are directly tied to one another. We find that people become addicted to opioids using prescription drugs that become too expensive and they shift over to heroin. And we've seen a spike in heroin overdose deaths in recent years. Uh, unfortunately, we've seen a, a spike this year in meth overdose deaths. It's, uh, it's really remarkable. It's up, I think, 20, 25 percent. Wow. And it underscores the importance of thriving organizations like the Southern Oregon Meth Project as community efforts to combat meth abuse and meth addiction. Well, we certainly appreciate your support and all that. And what is the website for Lines for Life if people want more information? Linesforlife.org. We'd love to hear from people. We'd love to have folks check in with us if they're looking for help, looking for a way forward. And we'd also have folks love to have folks check in with us if they'd like to volunteer. Absolutely. Dwight, good to see you. Thanks Great for coming. Great to see you again. Appreciate it. Stay with us. We'll be right back.